This could be why, despite GST vouchers, many still seem to be disgruntled about the hike in GST. So in economics, there is a branch, a new branch of economics known as behavioral economics. It's been around in the last decade and it's so important that it has even been incorporated into the IB and the A-level economics syllabus. So I would like to share two concepts in particular. One, loss aversion and two, salience bias. And by the way, this is for general public consumption and it is also very important if you are an economic student. So number one, loss aversion. What it basically means is that people tend to feel more about a loss than an equivalent gain. So if you cost me to lose $10, you take $10 away from me, I'll be very upset and I'll feel more about it than if you were to give me same $10. So that's loss aversion. Secondly is salience bias. That means whatever is more prominently seen by me, whatever is more striking, more obvious to me, that is what I consider more than some other information that is highly relevant, highly important, but it is not so obvious to me. So, as I've shared in my other GST videos, right? Number one, we see this 9% hike. We experience this almost every day, sometimes maybe even a few times a day. Whereas for GST vouchers, they come silently into bank accounts twice a year, right? If you are a, um, eligible for the GST vouchers. So that could be salience bias at work, right? Every day you're facing this, wow, 9%, 9%, 9%. Whereas the vouchers, you know, maybe you don't even realize that they are in your bank account. And secondly, the loss aversion. You may say it is going to cost my GST effectively to be 7% or less, okay? But still, that doesn't feel good, okay? Because what is taken away from me, okay, I feel more strongly about than what is given back to me. So how do we apply this knowledge? In policy making, and maybe even in business, and even in business, there is a need to apply behavioral economics today. It's a very, very important field of knowledge. So if the policymakers realize this, the Singapore government can improve on its policy implementation, somehow highlight the GST vouchers more often to its target group, and maybe just make it clearly better off for them. Okay, not just 7%, but you know, clearly making it better off for them. I'm not sure. Maybe clearly making it 6.5% or 6% or less, provided the numbers make sense. Okay, because if you make it better for them, and in the end, we don't achieve our objective of increasing tax revenues, then of course, the proposal will still not make any sense. Certainly applying behavioral economics into the implementation of the GST hike and the GST vouchers, I think would have made some improvement. So with that, I hope you have benefited. See you. Ciao.